In this video, we will discuss about how this microRNA are formed uh, within the cells and uh, silence the specific genes. So there are two different uh, pathways that are uh, been dis discovered. That is canonical pathway and the non-canonical pathway. So we will start with the canonical pathway. So in the canonical uh, pathway, the, the pictorial representation is shown on the left hand side. So initially, this uh, pre micro RNA is uh, is transcribed and translated within the nucleus just like the normal protein as it is shown here then with the help of this microprocessor that is dorsha this pre micro RNA is then cleaved off and it is moved into the uh, cyto uh, cytosol of the cells where with the help of this uh, dicer where with the help of this dicer uh, this hairpin gets removed and this micro RNA uh, will then attach to this AGO uh, to form uh, this micro RNA, micro RNA RISC complex and after that uh, this template that is shown in the blue color will get removed and this uh, micro RNA is will then um, ready uh, is then ready to bind to the uh, specific MR, uh, specific mRNA of the proteins uh, for in order to silence it or completely uh, uh, in order to silence the mRNA uh, temporarily or uh, in other terms it can uh, completely destabilize this mRNA so that this mRNA will never get translated so this will depends on the type of micro RNA uh, that is uh, interacting with the mRNA present within the uh, cytosol so now, now let us under, also understand how this non-canonical pathways work. So there are different kind of microRNAs and that can be formed and through this non-canonical pathways. The first one is shown is uh, mitrons. So in this case what happens uh, because of the debranching of the intron and the splicing mechanism within the nucleus this kind of uh, microRNAs are formed that can be shown here. and the next kind of microRNAs is based on this tRNA microRNA. In this case, this RNA cell will cleaved off the part of the uh, tRNA so that this uh, tRNA will act as a microRNA. The next part of microRNA is uh, based on is the based on this regular translation of this RNA polymerase two, and and uh, and this kind of microRNA will already cons already have this 5 prime end uh, with its and it can interact 5 prime end with its with this uh, methylation site at M7G uh, with this with some methylation sites that can be that is represented by M7G in this figure so this can also be uh, since it already had this 5 prime cammed hairpin it can directly uh, it can directly go into the cytosols and interact with AGO for further microRNA processing and it does not need uh, this microprocessor uh, within the nucleus. This kind of microRNAs does not need microprocessor within the nucleus. So this is the non-canonical uh, microRNAs that can be formed. Now let us understand how this AGO slicing helped in the microRNA processing. So there are two different ways. Uh, first one uh, that requires uh, the microRNA processing within the nucleus the second one does not require microRNA processing uh, the first one uh, uh, shown here does, does not require microRNA processing and the canonical pathways requires microRNA processing within the nucleus before AGO binding so let us start with this dicer independent uh, reaction so in this case the hairpins are short enough that it cannot be interacted with the microprocessor within the nucleus and this hairpin can directly uh, go into the cytosols and interact with the AGO and what this AGO this AGO will remove uh, AGO will remove the template uh, from its end and then the uh, rest of the uh, micro rest of the sequence of this microRNA can be used uh, directly with the help of this uh, by making a complex with the AGO it can be used directly to uh, inhibit a particular or its complementary mRNA sites that can be seen here and other uh, kind of microRNA that is microRNA 481 it requires 
it also uh, does not requires it also uh, you can say it requires the in it requires the help of the microprocessor within the nucleus but it does not requires the uh, helps with the help of it does not require the help of the uh, dicer to get rid of this hairpin because the hairpin is short enough in this case so there are two dicer independent case first where that does not require microprocessor within the nucleus and one that does require microprocessor within the nucleus uh, but does not but, but both of them does not require the help of dicer to get rid of hairpin as the hairpin is short enough the next uh, category is dicer de dependent category so in this case uh, this is considered as the canonical pathways where the microprocessor cleaves off and the, one of the example is micro rna 486 where microprocessor within the nucleus cleaves off this micro rna uh, from the uh, from the translation uh, from the translation of this uh, sequence uh, translation of this sequence uh, from the uh, dna and after that uh, this uh, microprocess microprocessed micro uh, microprocessor cleaved micro rna will then move into the cytosol where it interacted with the help uh, with the dicer where the dicer helps in the cleaves of this short hairpin and after that it can uh, make a complex with AGO which is known as RISC complex and after it makes a complex this template region will get uh, will be removed by the AGO and the main microRNA uh, sequence will be used to inhibit its complementary uh, mRNA sequence that is shown here so this is the canonical pathway that is shown in the uh, top, uh, on the left side of this figure however there are some non canonical pathways are also that we have discussed so this is just a brief overview how the uh, micro rnas are formed by canonic canonical and non canonical pathway if you need to understand more about this micro rna you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description and that's all for this video thank you for your time